Our person of the week, living proof that you cannot let anyone tell you your future. She was born a child with autism, but tonight, or tomorrow night, she could become Miss America. ABC's David Muir takes us to meet her, Miss Montana. Backstage in Las Vegas, Alexis Weinman, Miss Montana, beaming like the others as they compete for the crown. But hers is a journey unlike any other. The little girl with the big smile, but hiding underneath it, a giant hurdle. We knew for a long time there was something wrong, we just didn't know what it was. The little girl unable to relate to other children at school, the unexplained tantrums, the hours spent alone. She had autism, but her parents and her teachers didn't know it. One teacher once saying, I don't get paid enough to handle this. No one talked about it in their small Montana town. She wasn't diagnosed until she was 11, and no one ever thought she'd make it here. I'm David, good to meet you. At 18, Alexis has defied the odds, the first contestant with autism to compete in Miss America. So you've had a little practice up there. Oh yes. And for the, the talent the portion, today. she plans a stand-up act. Yeah. This is where you have to be funny up there, right? Yes. <laughs> have you practiced I'm your- always funny I'm up there. <laughs> the same little girl who will tell you she never got the jokes. How did you know you were funny? Um, I, I use it as a way of uh, dealing with situations that I don't understand. And now you're going to get on that stage and you're going to perform comedy. Yes, that it's a pretty ironic twist, isn't it? The diagnosis came when you were 11 years old. Yes. And you have said it was 11 years too late. Mm -hmm. Because you had wondered as a child all those years why you were different. Well, first impressions were already made. But Alexis redefined them, running cross country with her brother. She was captain of the cheerleading team. Once so alone, so silent, she would finish nine years of intense speech therapy. She was on the high-functioning end of the autism spectrum. And when she first began competing in pageants, she wore a borrowed swimsuit from her sister, an old prom dress on the hanger. But this weekend on that Las Vegas stage, no more hand-me-downs, no more hands held. It's just all me, and I'm really excited about that. This is, this is you now? Yes. We couldn't help but notice she was the only one not up on that stage. So you're actually supposed to be rehearsing right now. Yeah, that's okay. I can blame you. You can blame me? Yeah. And her secret to not colliding with the others? My elbow's out. <laughs> and quietly in the back of the theater, her mom, who says Alexis has won by just getting here. She won. She was here. Sorry. <laughs> And you never thought this would even be possible? Oh, absolutely not. This is beyond anything we ever thought. What do you tell your little girl before she gets up on that stage? Leave with no regrets. Leave with no regrets. And Alexis knows of the children with special needs she's met along the way who will be watching. I do hope they wa go watching. Do you feel as though you're a winner? I do. I feel I'm on top of the world. I hopefully have touched the lives of people at home. So you have. Thank you. And so we choose Alexis Weinman. We'll be watching tomorrow night on ABC.